So actually, we, we are buying alcohol in a shop. What's the name of the alcohol? It's called Bond 7. In Uganda, <laughs> that's so surprising. I know in Kenya that cannot happen. Okay. Let me test one first of all. Oh, they're locusts actually. Yeah. Oh, very nice. This is um, Ugandan food. Just next to the street, man. Okay, let me test. What about this chicken? How do you find it? We have eaten uh, 33,500. He's actually a diplomat. And this one is an aquamarine engineer. So I'm the only joker in the family. So you are Kenyans and you are Tanzanian? Yes. Wow, man. <laughs> My name is Ntao The Voice. So today we are in Jinja, Uganda. So this is the main street, Jinja. And basically what you're doing today, uh, it's not like you're doing something actually. We are going to look for something to eat, man. Since, you know, I travel. Remember, I ate some chicken, you know, in that vehicle. But we need to have some good lunch, you know. So that's what we are looking right now. So after eating, now then we'll make a round together with my cousins here who will show us around uh, because uh, they are conversant with this country. With me, okay, not that conversant. Of course, I know Uganda, but they know better. So, let's go. I've observed something, actually, for Kenyans watching this. Uh, actually, this city, like this main street, coming all the way from this side, going to this side, actually looks like Kisumu city. What, what can you say about that? On my side, I think it looks like uh, Kisum city. Even uh, the arrangement, even how the streets are very straight, looks like Kisumu in Kenya. For those who don't know, Kisumu actually is uh, one of the cities, a port city actually, on the shores of Lake Victoria, um, found in Kenya, East Africa. So, something interesting about Jinja. Jinja is also a touristic destination. Like, you find a lot of tourists uh, at this place. So, same to Kisumu. Is it Kisumu is it uh, touristic? Actually, tell me in the comment section if you're watching this. So we are going to look for food right now. That's what uh, we are doing here today. Not doing here today. Actually, we are hungry, so we need to look for food. That's what we are doing. This we are going to look for food, and that is street food. We are going to look for Uganda uh, staple meals. I know Uganda staple meal like uh, it is uh, matoke and um what do we take with matoki actually is it some uh, is it pounded i think pounded uh, peanuts so maybe groundnuts so let's go and look for it all right how do you find ginger so far ginger uganda man how do you find it man for me i find it so beautiful for me i find it uh like kisumu actually the weather here weather is kind of like kisumu it's actually very hot very hot not that very hot like the middle east actually but it is hot right hot like uh the coastal region called uh maybe if you have ever uh, ever been at the coastal region that type of hotness i think is it because it is close to lake victoria and also close to river nile actually hey after this video i'm going to show you river nile i'm going to show you the source of river nile that comes all the way from uganda to Egypt, to the Mediterranean. Man, just imagine, it comes from Uganda. I mean, the source of River Nile is here in Uganda. So we need to cross that other side and uh, I'll let you know uh, when we reach a place where we can go have some meal. So for now, let's go. Do you like it? How, how much is this one? We want small. How much? Okay. Let me test one first of all. Just to... Oh, they're locusts actually. Yeah. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> no, but they're nice. No, for us. No, no, no. White ants. Yeah. The ants. The ants. And so this one. one. Uh -huh. So you're eating locusts here. Uh, how, how much is this? Ten thousand. Ah, this one, this small one. How much is this? How much? Two thousand. Two thousand. Give us this. One. We don't want to take a lot of it then <laughs> for the first time. So one thousand, one thousand uh, is like uh, twenty-six Kenyan shillings, which can cost to twenty or twenty-five cents in terms of dollars in Jinja, Uganda. So, let's have a taste of it. Oh, oh this, this is mine. So, 
it is 2000 still enough so i think this is among the weirdest things uh, i've uh, eaten you remember the other time we ate uh, what was it called lava dudu manyoa and uh, i've eaten um, a lot of bad things or good things but this one i've eaten when i was young we used to say but not like this color here so our time to go now we want so we want some matoke here just along the street here in ginger street our, our food is ready now <laughs> Now, this is uh, Ugandan food, just next to the street. Okay, let me test. What about this chicken? How do you find it? Mmm, <laughs> it's good. Some people do say that you do look alike. Is it true? Tell me in the comment section. And this one. You remember, there is a photo I actually uploaded in one of my social media platforms during his... Uh, He's a graduation. He's actually a diplomat. And this one is an aquamarine engineer. So I'm the only joker in the family. So <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine. He's a diplomat by profession actually. He's an aquamarine engineer. And I'm a YouTuber. Man. Hey, when you say a the, marine, this, you the, it sounds so complicated. Yeah. I'm just a fish farmer. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to give me now? As a graduate of the University of Nairobi and a graduate of Technical University of Kenya. But um, he lives here in Jinja, Uganda. Yes? No. Very nice. Now it's my time to take uh, some matoki. What do you, you still have fish? What? Perfect. Very you know, nice. Actually, very nice. No exaggeration. Actually, super amazing. You want to know how Uganda can make people weird? My cousin is eating a uh, chapati here with fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> All right. I actually enjoyed the meal. It was so nice. The chicken was legit. It was uh, African chicken, natural chicken, not GMO ones, so or maybe broilers. So just waiting here for the gentleman to finish. The one eating chapati with fish, mm. then we proceed on. 1,500. So we are done with our meal. So the bill is here. We have eaten uh, 33,500. So here is our bill 33,500 shillings. How much is that? How much is that, by the way? When you can buy? That's around. That's around thirty-three. It's around a thousand plus. A thousand. It's around a thousand plus Kenyan money, which is around uh, ten dollars in terms, you know, of USD. So we were done with the meal. Now we are going downtown of Ginger Town. So let's go. So this is like the central market. So there's so many things going on, uh, go, going on here. So we are looking for one of the interesting things. One of the things that you want to look is uh, their market. And uh, some of the things that they sell, like maybe in your home country, maybe you don't have something close to that. So let's keep moving. So this is the Ginger Central Market. Makere University. <laughs> okay, it's a very serious market here. This market actually reminds me of uh, Nyabugogo markets in uh, Rwanda, Kigali. So, interesting, eh? It's actually a very busy market. But it's not very different from other African markets, actually. If you watch my, my videos in other countries, it's almost similar. To buy Kitro, can we buy something? Uh, what Just can we buy? What can we fruits. buy? What can we buy? Avocado. Nyabu, how much is an avocado on your side? How much is it? <laughs> How are you? I want to buy something. Uh, at least have something in this market. So, so we, we want to buy a popo here. It has been quite some years. I, I don't think, maybe for more than, uh, I think, five years I've never eaten an, a popo. But avocado is a very common fruit in Nairobi, Kenya. So let's taste this one. We're going to buy this one. 
uh, it is 3,000 Ugandan shillings, which converts to around one dollar, less than a dollar actually. So we are waiting for the lady to come with a knife, so that you know she prepares it or cuts it. All right. The beautiful lady is preparing for us some pork. Hey, What's your name? Lily. Lily. So it is really long time, eh? <laughs> I wait for it. I wait. Just waiting here. This market is so big actually. So it's like uh, when you go up, you find things like uh, people selling clothes and you know, uh, fabric and so on, furniture. But down here, it's most, mostly it's uh, groceries, as you can see. Yeah, sure. Beef, chicken, meat section. Wow. My spare parts is a magari, okay. second hand items, majeri cans, nini is on to go to the whole question. Oh. <laughs> Mili. The oldest, we begin with the oldest. Eh? Mili, she's done preparing here some... Kanku. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. I'm told this is plantain. On my side I'm seeing this as bananas. So tell me the difference between the plantain and bananas. Because on my side I don't understand really. You see, these are bananas. Okay, if my, you are Nigerian watching this, tell me, is this, are these bananas or are these plantains? So what's the difference? Now we are leaving ginger markets. They sell uh, food and alcohol. Alright, so we're going to a shop that sells uh, actually food and alcohol. So how strange is that in your country? Because in Uganda that's a normal thing. So let's go. So... This is like a uh, banana market. So there's a difference. What is the difference between uh, bananas and uh, plantain? I see almost the same thing. Sweet bananas. This market is so big, man. It is in Ginger City, Uganda. Man, I think that government did some good job, man. I'm really, really proud of their government. Huh? Oh. Wow. So we are inside the, you know, the city market here in Ginger City, uh, Uganda. Yeah? You know, when you say or oh, if you're greeting someone, you say Mpole. Oh, like uh, sorry for the job. Pole, uh, how can you translate that from you know? So you know, Swahili it makes sense, but in English now, you know, like it is a polite way of saying you know. Yeah, it's a good job, kind of something well like that. Done, well yeah, well done. Wow. Come on, Nigeria, by the way, Samanga, well done. Okay. All right. I'm a good. So we want. What is the name? In a what's the name? In a tobacco. Ta oh, ta tobacco for tobacco. Oh, oh. Oh, it's tobacco. Oh, it's tobacco. Oh, it's tobacco. Ah, it's in a Tanganese or Namnagan. Iyo. Iya na. Iya na tuanga tuanga. Uh -huh. So it is tobacco that is pounded with some water yeah. in it to make it look like this. So it can make you high. That is, it has nicotine, that is. Yeah, a lot of things. Wow, someone is selling some ropes here. So we just want to know what is it? Is this Kuber? Kuber? Ah, this Kuber, man. So when you take this one, it makes you high, man. It's called Kuber, it's a very common drug in Kenya. Ugandan money. Okay. Oh. Oh. So it is like ladies who take it a lot, a lot of this man. 500 Ugandan shillings, that's close to 10 shillings Kenyan money or 10 cents in terms of dollars. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 
I've never seen a market that sells drugs in an open market, man. <laughs> Look at this, man. It's a drug, man. <laughs> Do you know this this game here? It's an African game. Others call it Bao, Ajua. I don't know how they call it here. They are doing it just in an open air market here. Is it open mail closed air market? Meso. 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 Oh, here in Uganda it's called Meso. Ajua must be in your bow or something like that. That is an African game. <laughs> I'm told it's just a matter of luck. It's not like there is someone who is a pro here. Interesting. I'm surprised to see the Maasai people in uh, in Uganda, Ginger. Miasali. Nai? What is this? Dawa. Oh, that's medicine. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Kenya wengine wa Kenya? Tanzania wapi ninajua Tanzania ino Tanzania. Arusha? Arusha unapita direct unaingia kado baba unaingia nyumbani Ngorongoro. Oh Ngorongoro, I know Ngorongoro. I, I was in Arusha uh, three months ago, two months ago nilikuwa Arusha miezi tatu iliyopita. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wewe pia unatoka Arusha? Unatoka Arusha pia wewe? Ah very nice. So unapita Kajiado I'm on a Pitya Kiserian. Ah, on Doga Kajado. Major Kiserian. You know Kiserian. Tinga. Yeah, and I don't get a tie. Ah, very nice. So you are Kenyans and you are Tanzanian. Wow, man. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it was interesting. Interesting to see uh, the Maasai in uh, in uh, Jinja, Uganda. So, all right. So we want to buy alcohol in a shop. So we are looking for for a place to buy. <laughs> There's a culture shop that you have here in Uganda. <laughs> so we want to buy alcohol in a shop. How much is it? How much? This is 2,500. 2,500. 2,000. And uh, bond 7. Bring bond 7. Together with a UG is 5,000. You have UG coconut. <laughs> and you have bread. Bread. <laughs> bread. How much? You want bread? Ah, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, the point How, is. Yeah. How much is this? This is 5,000. 5,000. Okay. With water. It was with cold water, three bottles, one ki for 500, 500. Eh? Okay. Okay. Uh, so, okay. so actually, we are buying alcohol in a shop. What's the name of the alcohol? It's called Bond 7. In Uganda, <laughs> that's so surprising. I know in Kenya that cannot happen. So, I came to confirm. So, you see, the normal shop? Yeah? Bond 7 does not to Kenya No, it does not. I don't think so. I've not seen it before. Kuna Bond 7 no, 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 I have not seen it. So what is there? This is of Nile. No, we don't have Nile there. Even Bell, we don't have. We have Guinness, <laughs> Tasca. <laughs> man. So man. Th this is the normal shop, man. Is it like normal for Ugandans to sell alcohol in a shop? Is it a normal thing? Or yeah, it's normal. It's normal. Plus, yeah, we do it. Man, I, I'm really surprised. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, tomorrow. Eh? We are looking for someone to give the alcohol. Man. We just wanted to confirm. <laughs> That was crazy, that was crazy. So we bought alcohol in a normal shop here in Uganda. So I know in many, East Af not even East African countries, in many countries you cannot do that. That was surprising, surprising to me. So guys, uh, I really appreciate. Thank you for the time, for watching and following Tell Other Voice. It has been a pleasure, man. If you've not subscribed, man, please, man, subscribe there, support me, drop a comment, like, share of course and if you're a ugandan watching this right now i mean ginger actually so you can suggest to me some of the places that you think you can visit with beautiful stories and i'll be there to represent you man thank you for your time it's already evening what's the time right now it is uh 6 32 that is uh pm and uh we need to go somewhere i mean we need to close this vlog so my cousin's there 
They're looking for someone to give out this. <laughs> My name is Mutado Vu. It's have a beautiful time. Ooh.